Now, Jai published a clip of Falana where he was basically calling me a, a foreigner, an outsider. Falana, you see, with all his education, I want people to understand the hypocrisy of your average Nigerian. That is why I hate Nigeria. Because they are hypocrites. Femi Falana is a senior advocate. He is a man of the law. So we are led to believe. He is learned. He is erudite. And I believe conscientious as well. But Falana, because he is a Yoruba man, is calling me an outsider that I nearly burnt down Lagos from the comfort of my home because I do not belong to Lagos. I am an Igbo man. I am a Biafran. So Falama was one of those pushing the ethnic line. Falana was one of those tribal bigots. If you see him on TV, you will think he's affable. You will think he's a good man. You will think he is a good Nigerian. But deep down, he is a tribal bigot. Falana, son. I saw him shouting like a deranged, like a caged, deranged animal. You know me, I tell you the truth. I don't give a damn who you are. Falana was shouting like a madman, saying that I, I nearly burnt down Lagos. Because Lagos is not Igbo land. Now, if you are not sensible or reasonable, you won't understand where they are going. I always read between the lines. Always, without fail, I read between the lines. Falana is a tribal ethnic bigot. People will say that he's representing Eros Zagzagi. This, but he's getting paid for it. That's his job. Even if somebody were to commit murder and comes to your office as a lawyer and say, I committed murder, I killed somebody. Do you know what the legal ethics says you must do? You must represent that person regardless of their crime. And you must go to court and defend them as vigorously as you can and try to get them acquitted. Though you know they're guilty. So, before you come to tell me that Falana is not an ethnic bigot <coughs> that is representing El Zagzagi, I want you to understand this about how the law operates. Falana in that very clip was seen saying that I was trying to destabilize the Nigeria. Every year what Falana does is to shout and to scream. Every year things are bad. The police did this, police did that. We are going to take you to ICC and we are going to take you to court. And he knows the court does not work in Nigeria. Now that young people took it upon themselves to hold Tinubu responsible for the carnage and the murder, the slaughter at Lake Togate because of tribe and ethnicity, people that should know better, they are defending murderers because they are from their tribe, they are from their ethnic group. They are defending killers. The same way that they found the Janjaweed, we will defend the Buratai. The same way they will defend the, dead, the late dead Buhari. You will both support evil based on your tribe. Your tribe's man is committing murder. Is committing manslaughter. You are there looking. You will defend him. He's from your tribe. And you want me to believe in one Nigeria. It's a good thing that the young people have done. It has now shown everybody that those you believe or you thought we are normal, that they are all tribalists. All of them. All of them tribal bigots. All of them. 
Jimmy Fanana is a tribal bigot. He is. You think him and you think he's smart. He's learned. But deep down, deep down, he's a tribalist. A tribalist of the worst kind. He is a chameleon. All the years of human rights abuses, we take it to God. We take it to God. What has come out of it? They always play to the gallery. Nigeria is full of hypocrites. Nigeria is full of deceivers. The likes of which deceivers, when they speak, you think they are normal. But in action, you know who they are. Femi Falana, senior advocate of Nigeria, is an ethnic bigot. When I say it, they say, oh, you shouldn't. Don't. I say, shut your, shut up your stupid, stinking, dirty mouth. That is why Africa is poor. You idiots, you are afraid of the truth. You idiots, you are afraid of the truth. That is why you have no electricity. Because if the idiot running Nepal is from your village and stealing money, you defend him. Femi Falana said that I could have, uh, I, I, I came close to burning down Lagos. That's what he said. And you have no right doing that because you are not a Yoruba man. That is what they're saying. But it is about Nigeria. Do you see how devilish and hypocritical these animals are? We are in their wig, calling themselves my learned brother, my learned sister, my learned friend. Deep down, they are ethnic bigots. So the introduction of the ethnic angle or dimension into the end SARS protest was pioneered or should I say championed by the likes of Femi Falana and from today he has no respect anymore where we are <coughs> but like I said I'm not scared I am prepared <laughs> to live in Nigeria he said <laughs> oh dear because they know no politician will travel abroad again. I don't give a damn if you are uh, weak as a uh, controller from Sokoto. If we catch Tambual outside, we'll set an example with him. We did not attack uh, Kulemad. Kulemad was just an appetizer. Any governor, if you like be a governor of Obama State, he goes at their trading. If you travel abroad to make it all work, we will teach you a lesson. We are now prepared to go to jail. You want CNN to cover the issues happening every blessed day? We have to be very, very dramatic. Let us catch one senator. All of them, you are banned, you cannot travel. House of Reps, all of you are banned, you cannot travel abroad. No, you are all going to die. All of you with sickness, you are going to die in Nigeria. All the, now you see what they will do, they start importing equipment to, to make their hospitals, uh, um, um, should I say, viable. No Nigerian politician, including Aisha Buhari, Aisha cannot travel outside Nigeria again. If she likes, let her go to Dubai. People will find her in Dubai. They will disgrace her in Dubai. I don't give a damn who you are. It doesn't matter your ethnicity or your tribe. Play that your idiotic tribal card all you like. That is why Nigeria never move, move forward. You people are hypocrites. You, are, you don't believe in Nigeria, you believe in your tribe. But when you come out, hey, this is our country, this is our Nigeria, because of oil and gas coming from their land. If we catch any of you outside, including Aisha, we'll teach you a lesson. No Nigerian politician will travel abroad again. 
Chiki Nai finished. The same way that Tinubu was chased away from Turkey, chased away from, from France, chased away from London, is what is going to happen to all of you. He says that he has a private jet. In six hours, he'll just be in Lagos. That's his only savior. A nationwide protest. And I want to ask all those idiots talking nonsense about uh, his Yoruba land. All of some of you are living abroad. How many times have you heard that a protester in London is Scottish? And they go on TV and they say, uh, there was this Scottish protester. And he's in London. He's destroying Oxford Street. He's a Scottish protester. Have you heard of that before? In all your lives that you've been covering or listening to the news about riots in London? Go and Google it. It's only in Africa, you monkeys. And where monkeys you are. Instead of you to address your, should I call it, intellectual limitations, because some of you didn't quite understand what the young people were doing. The first place you run to, that Britain asked you to run to, is to tribe. And the Femi Falana, but a senior advocate, if Femi Falana can be whistling like a bow from the gutter with his son, think of what those in the gutter will be doing. Senior advocate. We didn't know it was an ethnic bigot. I never knew until I saw the clip yesterday. Until I saw the clip yesterday, when I gave the order to destroy every police station in Anambra for what they have done, so he did not see it. He didn't hear about it. And I said to my Yoruba brothers, I said, I wish a Yoruba person can come on Radio Biafra and give that order or to concur. I'll be very happy. Because you said you are in one Nigeria. Anambra is in Nigeria. A Yoruba man has every right to burn down a police station in Anambra State. Every right. Because the right is right, I'm not going to write, the revolution is being carried out under Nigeria. Somebody from Zamfara has every right, a conscientious man from Zamfara has every right to come to Anambra to participate in the burning of police stations. Because it's a Nigeria-wide protest. People come during the G8 or during, do you know what? The poll tax riots, go and Google it, under Margaret Thatcher. The poll tax riots in England. One of the reasons why she was removed, poll tax, tax, taxation. People said, no, there was riots every day in London. Did you hear them say, oh, the people come from Wales and they're in London, they're at Trafalgar Square, destroying things. Because they are white people, they're intelligent. They know that everybody is British. But you in Nigeria, despite your education, Nanda Khan is Igbo, he's from Biafra. How can he give the order? And the federal government properties are being burnt in Lagos. Marina was on fire everywhere because they killed innocent people. Fumi Falana, senior advocate, Sam. I feel sorry for some of you idiots, following fools like that. I feel sorry for some of you stupid fools, following idiots like Femi Falana. Deceiver, you know I hate it. I despise hypocrites. I can't stand them. <coughs> On one hand, they say, Nigeria, Nigeria, Nigeria. On the other hand, when you go inside, you are doing your you are doing you know all those what child she make danger. This is horrible. You go back and you start to play your ethnic card. Who is Yoruba? Why should this thing happen in Yoruba? It is not happening where they come from. And they know it's a lie. They know Anamba is on fire. They know Enugu is on fire. They know Aba is on fire. They know Igbocha is on fire. That's a revolution. They went back to playing their ethnic card. That is the reason why people don't go to school in the north. Ethnicity. If you ask yourself, oh, leave it. Are they your children? 
they are full of children, they are house children. I, I am I, I'm the, the, the house leader. Oh, no, there is no house, of course. I am the full of leader. I decide what happens. My children will not go to school. And you leave it. And you come to Abuja and you go to channels. Our oh, country needs to move forward. This Nigeria, we must move it forward. There should be education everywhere. Oh my God in heaven. Nigeria and their, hypo uh, and their hypocrisy. These are the things all of you must know. Nigeria is a den of deceivers. When you speak the truth as we do, they complain, they gossip the way he says it. He is rude. He is not. Then you are a hypocrite. Femi Falama is a hypocrite. No Nigerian youth should take him seriously. He is a hypocrite. He's like weak. A eh? hypocrite. What how they can kill you? The way they sound, you know, Bitakula. The way Bitakula sounds so nice when you're chewing it. It's not how the taste is. The taste is very bitter. But the sound you hear when you're chewing it is very nice. But the taste is bitter. You see them in public and they speak and you think they're human beings. You think they're fighting for you, isn't it? <laughs> oh, God. <coughs> Excuse me. I need to rest and take my medication. I've not been doing that. I need to rest. He has been representing El Zagzagi. Despite the might of the Islamic movement, has he been able to bring out El Zagzagi from detention? No. But uh, let me use the word ordinary. Ordinary in Fanya Giofo and IPOB. Of course, Chukoki Kabiyama in heaven brought me out of detention. Femi Fala is a son. Sheikh El Zagzagi did nothing wrong. It is in detention. <coughs> Sheikh El Zagzagi is in detention. Has Femi Fala not been able to bring him out? Because despite coming to court and speaking in a very flowery, so you know, in the, you know all those jargon that they cram, they memorize and they churn out each time they go to court. When he goes back to his house, he will say, "Oh, that that man is a he. He wants to destroy our country, El Zagzagi, and um, uh, he is a." El Zagzagi is actually a Nupe man, if I'm not mistaken. He's either Nupe or Bagi. I think he's from Niger State. But he was born and raised in, in Kaduna. In the front, Femi uh, Fana will say, Oh, let us uh, release, uh, uh, I'm putting pressure on the Nigerian government to release El Zagzagi. But behind the back, he will be saying that El Zagzagi should be locked up. That is why he has not been able to bring him out of detention. I remember when I was in jail and they said, oh, why don't you allow this person from here? That's uh, oh, it's your four and the team, a lawyer, Jim Akram, all the rest of them, that, that you surround yourself with only Biafran lawyers, only Biafra. Why don't you expand? I said, no, because they understand what we are going through. So when they argue in court, they will argue with passion. For El Zagzagi to come out, Pick a lawyer, a very good lawyer, it doesn't matter if they are known or not, from his village, from around where he comes from. They go to Kaduna High Court and they release him. Because Tony Farana will come in the open and say, I'm fighting for El Zagzagi, but behind the back he will say, El Zagzagi wants to destabilize Kaduna State, and that will destabilize Nigeria, where he's benefiting from. That is where they are. Nigerians. Some of them that claim they're educated, they are ethnic bigots. I thank the young people, the youths, for coming out and saying we are in this together. And But even at that, as soon as the trouble broke out, everybody went back to their tribe. You cannot do, you cannot criticize a politician because it's not from your tribe. Then why do you have Nigeria? Why do you have Nigeria? Oh, you cannot touch a, a, a northern governor when they go abroad because uh, they, they are not Igbo. They, they are not from the east. Then why do you have Nigeria? 
we are dealing with a Nigerian governor, not a Fulani governor, not a, uh, that there is no Hausa governor, of course, not, not um, 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 how can I, in fact, it's Fulani all over the place, not a Fulani governor, not a Yoruba governor, not an Igbo governor. We are dealing with Nigerian governors. Nigeria is the word. You want Nigeria? You've got Nigeria. If we catch them abroad, they're finished. Any any but I can go more, they're finished. Burata is saying that he's not scared that the order was given that they should not travel abroad. I thought they said we are miscreants, we make noise, we don't we can't do anything. Yet they know that when we speak, the young people of Nigeria all over the world, not just to be a every Nigerian they will obey it. And the people that will attack them when they travel abroad are their own people. They will be shot. Instead of them to come out and to say that now they can't give an order and Nigerian Jews, regardless of their tribe or ethnicity, they carried it out. They want to ethnicize it. That's who they are. Femi Falana. Femi Falana, senior advocate of Nigeria. Liars and deceivers who will go soon. Deceivers. I cannot be in a country with such a man. Instead of me to be in a country with Femi Falana, I would rather it cannot happen. It can never happen. That is why DC must fall. DC must fall. Nigeria must fall because of the the hypocritical stance and behavior of the likes of Femi Falana. Hypocrites. All of them are hypocrites. All of them are hypocrites. Deceivers and liars. How is it that ordinary infamy of four can bring them the Kano out of detention, illegal detention? Femi Falanam, senior advocate of Nigeria, cannot bring out an innocent man, Sheikh El Zagzagi. What does that tell you? Oh, oh, ah. And as a ah, senior advocate, senior advocate, yet in their brain there is nothing. Absolutely nothing. Because the man is an ethnic jingoist. They were telling me, come out, it's not about Biafra. Everybody's suffering, all the youths are suffering. You're only fighting for Biafra. This is your Biafra, all the enemy, anywhere I go to, that's what they tell me. Why don't you fight? Go back to the old clips. Why don't you fight to liberate everybody in Nigeria? And our brave young people who started this very movement. And we came to offer our moral support. As their fathers, we came to offer moral support. And now, some people came out to say, Hey, he said, you're not Yoruba. Don't say anything about Lagos or Tinubu. I say, to hell with you. So, shut on your fender. Get out of my face, hypocritical bastards. But you have Nigeria. The protest is happening under Nigeria. And Tinubu is a criminal. He's a political criminal in Nigeria. Not a Yoruba political criminal in Yoruba land. Only. Or in Yoruba, uh, um, like I in Oduduwa nation. He's under Nigeria. That is being sustained with the oil and gas from my village. Somebody will steal the money. When I say, when we hold them to account, you're saying, you shouldn't say it. Because you're not Yoruba. Don't say it. Because you're not Fulani. Are you are you mad? I said, are you is your brain? Are you mad? Are you stupid in the brain? Are you stupid? You come out, uh, uh, as you you, they want to contest 2023. Plus, of course, he knows he's not going anywhere. 2023, these are another rubbish. A criminal and a murderer. Samuel Ludi, of course, Samuel has complained that he knew nothing about it. And nobody has come to contradict. Nobody has come to say that Samuel Olu actually ordered the army to go and shoot. He has come out to see, to deny it, to say, I did not order them to shoot. Maybe that is why he is working about scot free. Any day Tinubu comes outside in Lagos, Chinekena Wimonyakeb, any day he comes outside, any day he comes outside, 
outside his um, circle of arrows that he controls, then he will know how angry ordinary Yoruba people are with him. He doesn't know. His advisors are not telling him. They're not telling him. That day he will know. All of them are banned from traveling abroad, including Aisha. Aisha, even in you, you see how streets they are in UAE, is an Islamic country. If Aisha is spotted in the UAE, she'll be dealt with. The highest thing is prison. And the whole world will hear about it. Let me see how you can detain somebody for attacking a woman that is corrupt and a liar and a deceiver and an adulterer. Do you understand it now? They you see, let me tell you something about Nigeria. If you are not mad in Nigeria, they will trample upon you and the rights of the people. I believe that I speak this very morning standing on the mandate of the youth of Nigeria to say that the revolution must continue. Forget them. The revolution, if you want to change it, look at our sister being beaten yesterday. If you don't change the system, that could be you next time. And you may not be lucky. Look at what Mika is doing. An elected governor going about and saying he will sack elected local government chairman. Can you believe that? And nobody's talking. All of a sudden, because Mika is attacking IPB, attacking Namdekan, all of them, all the Yoruba have gone quiet. They have all gone quiet. How can you say you will remove a democratically elected local government chairman, which Mika knows himself is impossible? He cannot do it. Do you see how hypocritical they are? You want me to be in one Nigeria when protesters are being killed in Onesha, Oka, Newi, in Enugu, in Abakliki. You don't say anything. Only if they are killed in Lagos or Ibadan or Abuja. Then how, how are you inspiring confidence in the Nigeria project? That goes to show that all of you are hip. You are lying to yourselves. The thing about us is that we tell you the truth. That truth you don't want to tell yourself, we will tell you that very truth. There are people died yesterday in Abakli. Did you report it? Was it reported this morning? I doubt that very much. Somebody should tell me because our people are very, very clever. If Nigeria does not respect violence, the only thing that Nigeria understands is violence so, and disorder, chaos. Because their money will be threatened. Their source of income will be threatened. That was when our brave brothers, the Avengers, came before they were corrupted, as usual, of course. Osiba ran down there to go and make peace immediately. But look at all the years of writing. Oh, please, clean up, Goni. Oh, please, clean up, Goni. We have petition, we are protesting. Do you know Goni? Did they listen? <laughs> no, no, Nigeria. <laughs> the best thing to happen to Nigeria was one, this thing now that our young people did. If not, hey, hey, Gregu. Hey, Gregu, far away. And I, this ban covers everybody. Both the secretary to the, go, to the federal government, both um, um, the secretary of the federal government, and also the chief of staff, um, uh, what's his name again? Ibrahim. What's his name again? The chief of staff of the, of the zoo. The so-called seasoned diplomat, including him. He has friends all over the world. Gambari. He has friends all over the world. Ibrahim Gambari. But any day we catch him abroad, his friends will not save him. So even Gambari cannot travel abroad. All of them who are army officers, once you are a high-ranking army officer or police officer in Nigeria, you cannot travel abroad either. You can't stay in Nigeria and enjoy your one Nigeria. All of you suffering from one illness or the other, hoping to try to sneak out to India, no, you are going to die of that illness. We will come to that hospital in India and bundle you from your sick bed. I'm telling you the truth. Go on, try. The highest thing is prison imprisonment, one or two years imprisonment. Else exactly is still, still in prison, isn't it? And also, no Nigeria chief judge or judge, no Supreme Court judge from Nigeria can travel abroad. No judge of the of the appeal court can travel abroad. No judge of Nigeria High Court can travel abroad. It's over for you people. 
stay in Nigeria. You people are presiding over iniquity. Somebody will come to your court. The state is holding that person illegally as hope who's other man is doing in Imo State. Hope who's other man is holding on to people in Imo State. For no reason, they committed no crime. But full on headsmen are busy moving about and killing and raping. And they are free. Because they are full on. They control the government. All of you judges and governors, all of high ranking army officers, I can we can allow magistrates, they can travel abroad. Local magistrates can travel abroad. But once there is a judge to your title, tell your children you're going to see in America and Europe that you're in trouble. Get them to go and start gossiping online as usual. No more abroad and no medical treatment, even if you're a judge. A high-ranking army officer, everybody who is in frontline politics in the zoo, you are finished, regardless of who you are. I want all of you to gang up all you like. Gang up, conspire, talk rubbish, write nonsense. You know I'm, I'm, I'm the kind of other things that don't affect me. Write all your garbage, your lady, and even make us more popular in the process. You are no longer going to be seen abroad. You'll be hiding as you're going now, you're hiding like a thief, like a criminal. Because we are going to catch you. One of you. And we'll set example with you. You can no longer go and call uh, your people to a meeting. No. No more. I dissolved our volunteers abroad and I'm now reconstituting them. They are now in existence once again. Anywhere we see you, we attack you. We are not going to attack you as a, as a Biafran. We attack you as a Nigerian. <laughs> you don't know. Oh, as we are attacking you, we are going to use your useless green, white, green flag stained with original blood. We are going to get the blood of an animal and stain your flag. So when we are attacking you, we are attacking you with Nigerian flag. Abroad, come now, let us see you. They say, uh, uh, he has deviated. He is no longer preaching peace. I was preaching peace. And you massacred people at Mbo. I was preaching peace. You went to Igorcha. Wika was there. As a full and his full and masters were slaughtering our people during Trump campaign. Did any of you complain? Did any of you complain? No. You were there when the day our Operation Python Dance came to my house and killed everybody. And as a result, my mom and my father died as, as a result of it. Did you complain? Nothing. You said nothing. You support evil. Black, black, evil people. This way, G. Like Femi Falana is now a, a question of race and tribe. He, 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 he's somewhere. The idiots doesn't know where I am. None of you fools know where I am. Do you know where I am? Ask Britain if I'm in Britain. Ask Trump if I'm in America. I am not. Go and ask their immigration. They will tell you I'm not there. Idiots. You don't even know where I am. This UG just to try to plant seeds, to sow seeds of discord amongst our young people. You are a senior advocate. You cannot bring out an innocent man who is in jail. For how many years now? For how many years you cannot bring out an innocent man who is in prison? And you call yourself a senior advocate of Nigeria. Shame on you. All you are doing is to be gossiping, a, 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 playing your ethnic tribal card all the time. Once they commit atrocities, they run back to their tribe. They, they, they want to use tribe to cover themselves. Nigerian youths were carrying out a revolution and they asked for my intervention to make sure that it's sustained and we intervened. Tinubu ordered for people to be killed. Tinubu is a Yoruba man and a murderer. The same way that uh, Opiano is an evil man and a murderer. Wike, an evil man and a murderer. The same way that Umahi is a murderer. The same way that Okezi Basu is a murderer. And we hold them to account. And I call you, you know, they are from our tribe. They stay in your tribe. Come that God punish you, you idiot. You're an animal. You wear that your stupid horse, horse wig. Looking like a wretched permanent vulture. And I call you, you, know, you want to bring tribe in, into a revolution. Mad people everywhere. Insane people everywhere. Idiots. If people respect your stupidity and your hypocrisy, I don't. I don't, I hate hypocrites. 
Once you are not straightforward, once you are not a straightforward human being, I will hate you. And we are here. Now you know how powerful we are, don't you? We give order and it's carried out. Under one command. It doesn't matter if you're if your your ethnic group. Because everybody wants the same thing. Everybody wants freedom. Everybody wants freedom. So because an evil man is a, is a bad politician, because of that, when a Yoruba person is criticizing that person, I was like, no, 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 of course not. I won't do that. I won't do that. So in England, when somebody is criticizing the government of, um, say, Boris Johnson, uh, the journalist will sort of first find out where you come from. If you're not English, then don't criticize Boris Johnson. Are you? Are, are people not? Are people insane? Africans, are you? Are you, are you even normal? Are you sure you're going to myself in this UG? Blast, are, are you okay in the brain? You claim you are in a country called Nigeria, and somebody is corrupt, or somebody has done something wrong. As soon as you get up to, to hold up the door, they ask you, first of all, what is your ethnicity before you speak? Once you say, oh, uh, I am a Biafra, and they say, you have no right to condemn him. He is uh, from Fulani. And you all went, all of you went to school. You were learned. You were educated. That is how daft you are, and that is why Africa is backwards. Say to the person that the only native doctor I have is Chikuki Kabi Amabinewe. Lord God Almighty in heaven, that sent me to deliver this message, this message to the living. Heaven will give me a message and I'll give to the living. That's my job. <laughs> so they were shocked. As they will say, it shocked them all that we gave another and they carried it out. That was where people died yesterday in Ebony State. I gave an order for the cleaning to be done. And other people felt that, oh, how can you be giving order and people are obeying? Let me counter it. How did they bring pattern dance? I gave the order for Anambra elections to be boycotted. Word and went, no, I countermand it. And I'm bringing the army to kill you. And they have, they all failed spectacularly. Femi Falana is a hypocrite. Anybody listening to him is as foolish as he is. Femi Falana is an absolute hypocrite. A hypocrite. You cannot bring out an innocent man from detention. Can you claim your senior advocate? Who are you advocating for? Maybe a fast rock. You're advocating for the devil. No wonder. <clears throat> no wonder. And you know he's an APC man. Do you know Femi Falana is APC? Do you know that? And now I'm telling you, he is APC man.